Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a foggy Monday, the 17th of January. It's 40 degrees out here at the moment. I don't even know what the weather's supposed to be like. It's foggy at the moment. I hadn't looked. I think we're supposed to have some kind of rain throughout the week, but next weekend's supposed to be nice and and uh, around 50. Out there, some riding weather. All right, let's roll out. Well, Mama? Mostly sunshine the entire way. A couple of foggy spots here and there, but nice. Yeah, now it's nice. Yeah, really yeah. nice. That's crazy. Always die. <laughs> well, welcome to Monday. Start of a new week. Yep. All right, Mama. All Have right. yourself a wonderful Monday. You too, sweetie. All righty. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. Bye-bye now. Bye. We've left the store. There's Walgreens used to go out all the time. Kelly's getting some uh, filters for her fish tank. Don't have no big fancy nav in this thing. Just got to use the old, the old cell phone and a <laughs> and a little phone holder. She works good. Man, this place all of a sudden people just pouring in here, coming from far and wide. Is that what you're looking for? Yep. All's good. All's good. Also, quick in and out. I tried for you, Hub. I tried. All right. Let's roll on out then, Mama. All right, Hub. Did you have a good day? Yeah. I, I literally seen you once the entire day. I know it. You must have been busy. Yeah. I'm trying to get things caught up. Very good. All right. Oh. Well, your day was good? Yes. All right. All we haven't right. had to, that chance to, to talk yet. I know. Kelly goes, where are all the bad calls? Jeez. <laughs> okay. All right, we gotta go. <laughs> All right, let's bounce. All right. Kind of cute little place over there. Mm -hmm. The best place is that green that you see down there at the far end. That there sportsman's. Yeah, that's a good store. Yeah, that's where they got the good stuff. Yeah. And if you get hungry, you need a quick burger. Got your Wendy's right there. Mm -hmm. And we go straight across here. Yeah. Yeah, I go right past the. I had to feed the old war wagon some more petrol. That is close. Unless I, I lean know, over I'm here, up. it's like, <laughs> I don't think people realize just how close we are to each other. I know it. It's like, you're so awesome. I always kind of lean a little bit and hold the phone close to me. <laughs> yeah, it's all up close in your face. Yeah. Hey, something. Nice and warm in this automobile, Mama. Yeah, I'll stay in here because it's bloody windy and cold. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's it said 39. Now it says 45. There ain't no way it's doing 45 degrees out there. No, no, cause that is cold. All right, Mama. All right. Let's bounce. Let's bounce. All right. right. So when we were there in a Vancouver we were by Sportsman's, reminded me of something, something I seen on on video here over the weekend, and uh. Anyway, I'm gonna. It, it's gonna uh, involve firearms. I know some of you guys don't like this, so uh, by all means, bail out, because here it comes. I'm gonna use my XDS uh, Springfield Armory 45 ACP. And uh, hold on just a second here, and I'll I'll set a little something up so I can use my hands here when I'm working too. So. All right, this is just a little makeshift, a little wooden stool, an old dirty microfiber. <laughs> just so you can see, she is, in fact, unloaded. Nothing's around. Ammunition sitting over on the table over there. Nowhere, nowhere near it. So what I seen this dude do is drop, just drop the slide on a on an empty gun just pull the old slide release i'll do it once so you see see what i'm talking about that is a lot i mean you know this thing's cycling like crazy when when you're firing it but it's it's a different dynamic when the gun is running and you know ammunition is going into it don't just drop your slide on these things 
And the other thing I've I've seen people do literally at shooting ranges is they will because they have their magazine loaded and they don't want to have to pull the magazine back out because they run it, you know, hot. Like this one's with the magazine I carry with this one is a six round stand. This thing is so small and the rounds are so large. The flush mount is a five plus one. Plus one means there's one there's one in the stove pipe and your magazine's full. So anyway, what people will do is they don't want to load that, put the magazine cycle the slide, put one in the stove pipe, and then uh, pull the magazine out and then put one more in. So what they'll do, shockingly, is they will grab a round and drop it down in the hole and then drop the, drop the slide on it. Well, when you do that, your ejection arm here, this thing bites the side of the round and peels it out. When a, when a round fires, it woof. That thing grabs the the rim around the uh, uh, on the back of the shell and pulls that thing out and flips it out. It is never meant to bounce over the uh, the round. What it does, and if you pay, I tried to find to come out here, and this is what took me so long to get out. I tore the house apart. I've got what they call dummy rounds. They're pra you know for practicing, and uh, it's just it's literally a dummy round. You buy like a pack of I think they come in a pack of six or something like that. So I could show you, but I can't find them. So what it does is when this thing peels off around or slides one off the top of the um, magazine, when that thing, as it's pulling it up and it's coming in the battery and going in the in the barrel, that ejection piece is great. Here, let's just get the gun away here. Hold on. All right. No guns around. So when this is coming up and it's being, you know, the uh, slide comes back and it's dragging that off of the magazine and it's coming up, hits the feed ramp and it's working its way up. When that happens, that ejection um, arm, spring-loaded arm, falls into this notch and follows the round in until it stops. And then when it fires, it grabs and pulls it, then it hits and flips it flips the in, empty uh, cartridge out. It was never designed to be bounced over this. So if you drop one of these in the stovepipe and then pull your slide release and whack, let that thing drop on this round that's preloaded in the barrel, it's forcing that, that thing to bounce across there. Well, if you look at that thing close, it's it's fairly sharp on the end and that spring you know is supposed to have a certain amount of tension over time you're going to destroy that thing <laughs> it's just funny the people the things the things they do without thinking about it you see it a lot like uh it wasn't this last time i was at sportsman's but it's another time a guy just dropped the slide actually he was looking i think it was when i was um when I ordered that Hellcat, there was a guy looking at the uh, six hour P365 um, XL and he's standing there in front of the guy and just drops that slide. You should have seen the reaction of the guy behind the counter. He snaps that handgun out of his hand. He's like, dude, you don't just drop them like that. And then worse yet, these guys that are too lazy to drop another one in the top of the magazine, you put your magazine in, load it, Cycle it with the magazine in. It's okay to drop the slide. The slide can be back. Drop. You can drop it. Boom. Loads it. It's got this in there. It's a, it's doing what it's supposed to do. But then pull the magazine out and put another one in. That way you can have, like in my case with that XDS, is a six plus one. So 
Anyway, hold on just a second. We'll uh, we'll look at one more thing here. All right, no ammunition around. She's still still empty. Oh, jeez. Hold on there. Hold on there, Junior. Get all excited on me here. <laughs> Everything's stiffer on a 45. So here's, if I can get that close enough for you to see it, that's that ejection arm. It's spring-loaded. So if I can squeeze it with my thumb hard enough. See how that thing's designed? See how it's nice and, see if I can hold the camera just right. See how it's got a nice little sharp bite on it? That's meant to eject that spent shell. Or like when you're disarming one, like I just did when I came out here, pull your magazine out, rack it back, and you're holding the round that was in the pipe in your hand. But yeah, that, uh, don't bounce that thing over the back of, of your shells. Plus, you ever look at the back of a shell when someone's done that? It takes a bite out of it. If you're a reloader, you probably don't want one that, you know, some guy saved all his, his shells and, and uh, you know, you got these nicks all in them. I doubt that hurt anything. But another thing, too, was when this thing slammed shut, when it's loaded... Um, this thing hits the back of the of the shell or the cartridge, and that brass and steel, whatever that that's it's meant to do that all day long, not to be dry dropped with nothing. Don't be you know sliding your slide back. I know that sounds cool. It's like the guys that open up their revolver and psh, psh, and you see them give them a whole flip and the receiver drop it's back in there. Dude, if you've ever been around anybody that shoots one like this, you don't want to be anywhere near that thing because that receiver no longer no longer lines up with the barrel, and that thing will shave brass, lead, whatever is going through that thing out the side of that thing like crazy. I've uh, got an old, really old 38 Special from my granddad that, uh, yeah, somebody, either this gun was just used to death or, uh, yeah, somebody did too many oh, I've seen it on TV things, you know. Man, we spend a lot of, oops, we spend a lot of money on these things. No sense in, uh, destroying them needlessly like that. I love these Springfield armories. I am just, if you guys can't tell, I'm a huge fan. Huge fan. And... I'm not a big fan of dry firing them, but with you on camera, I want you to know there's nothing in there, and I'm not, if I tend to point the, the uh, business into this thing at you on accident when I'm flipping her around, I don't want you to duck thinking something's gonna come flying through your television or the phone in your hand. But um, yeah, I, I, I think I even went with you guys, I think I even showed it to you when I bought it. They had come out with the next version that has, uh, you know, uh, stippling, I think they call it, on the uh, grip. It's uh, the second version of this. I think it's the second version. But I was able to get this thing for a smoke and deal. So um, I bought it when the new model had just come out. A little thing popped up with an email from old sportsmen's and they seen old smoke a coming, boy. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a nicer feel to the newer grips. Although I have never... What, and I don't, I hate to think how many rounds has been fired through this thing. Cause I just, I'm just a huge 45 fan, but you know, there's limited capacity and if you're good with it, um, capacity is not going to be that important cause you'll, you know, knock a building over. <laughs> I know there's other rounds that ballistically are more favorable, but dude, I'm, I'm old school. I love throwing a, a, three, a freight train out the barrel and uh, just a big fan of 45s. And this thing I thought for sure would be horrible to shoot with that polymer frame, you know, and the lightweight compared to 1911s and some old things. I got this old 
star starfire or whatever the heck it's called i if you look way back on my videos you'll see that thing being fired that thing literally weighs about four pounds maybe more it's not much bigger than this but uh yeah anyway that was on my head on my mind from a few days ago i think it was saturday i seen this thing and i go golly look at this you know we've been both been around firearms enough you know you watch you watch rookies handle them not that I'm any kind of expert or whatever, I've just been around them a long time. Anyway, lovely. That was my little chit chat for the day. This is my little staging area here. <laughs> All right. I just got a text from the little woman. She says it's time to eat. Throw my coat on, grab my stuff, head for the house. We'll do a goodbye here in just a few. Well, hello there, YouTube. It is 11 o'clock at night here. Yes. It's time world. to bed. I haven't even, even transferred the files to the iPad Pro to even... I haven't even figured out a thumbnail yet. There's going to be a... It's going to be an early morning. Yeah. Getting up to go to work tomorrow's going to come way early. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway thinking about that since this weekend when I've seen some people abusing guns. I don't know if it's really abuse. It ain't good for them. But anyway, that's been on my head for the last couple of days. Busy at work today and I thought then I got that news thing about sportsmen's. So I thought, oh, that's uh, I'm going to talk about that today. So anyway, we're going to make it short and sweet. She's got to get to bed. I got a video to build. And then what are you guys still doing? Yeah. <laughs> Try to get some something that resembles sleep. Yes. So we're going to bounce to that. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Tuesday or Wednesday. Heck yeah. All right. And we'll see you in the morning. We'll see you at the crack of old dark. <laughs> Thanks for watching now. Bye-bye. <laughs>